Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, I'm on the way to camp. It's gonna be a short little, uh, short little live through the spirit. Um, just a little, just a little spirit booster, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Shalom, King Shalom. It's just a spirit booster, man. Hey, man. When you pray for the fruits of the spirit, you know, I've been talking to my red, to my brothers. You know, I always talk about the fruits of the spirit. Shalom, baby. I always talk about the fruits of the spirit. Hey, man, because we, we all should want the fruits of the spirit. Hey, Yahweh Shai, the greatest man that ever walked the earth, he had the fruits of the spirit. And, and, and if we're trying to walk like Yahweh Shai, we should try to, uh, we should try to, uh, pray. No, we should pray for the fruits of the spirit. That's something that we should want to get, the fruits of the spirit. And like my real said, when you ask for the fruits of the spirit, you the most high not finna just give it to you in a uh, in a um, in a gift bag, wrap it up in a gift and give it to you and say, here, here goes the fruits of the spirit. No, the Lord is gonna try you, bruh. You say you want you say you want the fruits of the spirit, the Lord is gonna try you, bruh. That's how you get the fruits of the spirit. You get the fruits of the spirit by experience. You know what I'm saying? It's people want patience. How you gonna learn patience if you ain't never been in situations for your patience to be tested? People say they they want the fruits of the spirit, they want love. But how you how you gonna how you gonna know what love is and want love if you ain't never been in a situation when your love was tested? You know what I'm saying? You people say they want um long they want that they want that spirit of long suffering. They want that spirit just to, to endure. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they're going through, they want that spirit to know that okay, it's just for a season. But how are you going to get that spirit of long suffering if the most I don't test you and you ain't been in no situation of your spirit or your faith being tested? Or you ain't never been tempted to the point where, hey, you in a season for about two or three months. You you worry about, you trying to figure out what's going on. You ain't been you ain't been as on fire as you was before. You ain't been reading as you was before. You ain't been studying like you was before. Hey, man, that's, that's you in a season right there. The Lord is testing you, man. The Lord is trying to build you up. So then, now you know, Hey man, if this if long suffering come at you again, you'll be able to overcome it because you've been through it so much. But the most I've been trying you, bro. He trying you for situations, man. And patience is a big one. A lot a lot of people don't have patience. You know, a lot of people don't have uh long suffering. A lot of people don't have peace. Peace is a big one. A lot of people talking about um uh, I hear I hear uh <laughs> People be saying, I hear demons in my head. You know, they hating their brother. They always stressing out. They don't have no peace. And the Lord, and that's, that's, that's part of the fruits of the spirit. You have to have peace. You got to have peace. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying this to say this, right? Because the most I've been trying me, I've been praying for the fruits of the spirit. That's something that I've been, I've been wanting. You know, Galatians 5 and 22 and 23. Is going into the fruits of the spirit So I've been wanting the fruits of the spirit So I've been praying on it And I'm sitting here thinking like The most I've been trying me Every situation he's been trying me He's been trying my patience He's been, try, he been trying my long sufferings He's been he going to see if I'm going to be at peace Or am I going to lose faith And kind of start stressing out He's been trying me with my car The Lord been trying my, my faith He's been trying me um, My fruits of the spirit with my car because it was certain times like one time the first time before right my car wouldn't come on it like my car was dead like it needed a jump start it was dead and nothing wouldn't come on the car wouldn't come on i couldn't lock my door i couldn't pop my trunk and that's crazy because i had my uh my rear was with me right i had my uh my posters in my car i finna go and do the works i had my posters in my car so i finna go try to do the works before the sun went down so I was in my car ready to go to do the works. My car wouldn't come on. So I'm like, dang. I'm like, dang, that's crazy. But my real kept me in the spirit, you know, through the power of Yahweh Hashem, I was shot, right? I was in the spirit. So I wasn't, at first I was kind of like, you know what I'm saying, tripping. But then I, I had I had uh, peace, I had patience. So the most high allowed my car to come back on without a jump start. We were literally just sitting in the car and I scooted my, I scooted my seat back off and lay down and like just chill I'll school my seat back Because I went on a brother To come give me a jump start And my car came back on Out of nowhere It came back on Out of nowhere That's the most I tried me man He gonna keep trying You say you want patience The Lord gonna try your patience Second time it happened again 
You know what I'm saying? It happened again. I with my rib. I finna take her to the airport. You know what I'm saying? My car didn't come on. But that time, it didn't come back on. So, it's like, hey, the most I can do whatever you want to do. He can allow your car to come back on. Or he can allow you just to, um, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't meant to be. Maybe he was protecting you from something. Hey, man, a lot of stuff that we got to look at stuff with a spiritual eye. Everything is spiritual. Everything is spiritual. So, if your car don't come on, hey, maybe the Lord didn't want you to go that day. Because eventually, it didn't come on. But that same day, or was it that same day, I think, I got my home brother come jump me off. And it end up coming back on, so it's gonna always come on. It might not, it might not come on the time that you want to come on. It's gonna come on. Then the third time he used me again, the same thing happened, right? And it's crazy, right? The same thing happened, but the, the time it happened, when I just said, right, when when it didn't come on when I with my rib, everything for a reason, brother. I took it to auto zone, right? I took it to auto zone. The dude said nothing was wrong with my battery. He said nothing was wrong with my battery, so I'm like, dang. It had to be the most. If nothing wrong with my battery at all, that means, hey, man, everything is a test. The most I could have been protecting us from something, man. So the third time, this is my lack of faith, though. The third time, right, I was finna go to camp, right? I was finna go to camp. And um, I was finna go to camp. I, I hopped in my car, right? And I was finna pray. And Satan came in my head. Satan was like, what if your car don't call? This, I was ready to go to camp, man. I was ready to go to camp. I was I was looking forward to going to camp, right? And and the most high said, I mean Satan came in my head right when I was finna pray, because I always pray before I drive off. I always say a prayer, a quick prayer before I drive off. So I was finna drive off. I was, no, I was finna pray. I had my head down, I was finna pray. And I, Satan came through my mind. He was like, um, what if your car don't crank up? So I'm like, so I, I heard up and pressed the button, right? And my car didn't crank up. So I'm like, dang, bruh. I fell for Satan trap. The most high didn't allow my car to crank up, right? It was a test. So my car didn't crank up, so I popped my hood. You know, and I was finna call one of my homeboys to come jump me off. But I got the car. This is no lie. I got out my car, I popped my trunk. I mean I popped my hood. I mean my trunk. I mean my hood, my hood. I popped my hood. And I uh, when well, my battery was there, right? It was dust all on my battery. So I'm like, man. I just, the most high son just told me it was the most high. I rubbed my finger across my battery. I rubbed my finger across my battery and my light, the lights came back on. So I'm like, hold up, the lights came back on because the light, nothing wasn't coming on. It's just like how your car be when it, when it need to be jumped off. It don't, it's just like that. Nothing's on. You can't pop the trunk. You can't open, you can't lock your door. The lights won't come on. The uh the uh, the horn wouldn't work, so I'm like, dang! I already knew what it was. I felt that test, but then the Most High allowed me to rub my finger through across my battery, and everything came back on, and I was able to crank my car up and go to camp. That that that, that, that was a test. That was a test, and then uh um I went to when I got to Tallah Tallahassee, I had went to another Auto Zone place called like maybe the dude that tried my battery. Maybe he just don't know what's going on. Maybe he's saying my battery's straight, but it might be something wrong with it. So I went to another person and got, and got you know, see what they said about my battery. He said the same thing. He was like, hey, ain't nothing wrong with my battery. I'm good. So I'm like, dang, it's just a test, man. The most high, the most high was just, um, he was just testing me. He was just testing me, man. He Everything is a test. So something happened today. And it's like the most I gonna keep doing that to you. He gonna keep trying you, bro. He gonna keep trying you to the point where you, hey man, your faith is built up. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna worry. You know everything of the Lord. You know everything is spiritual. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna freak out. You gonna be at peace when situations happen. You gonna be at peace. The Lord gonna keep trying you, man. You pray, you play for, you pray for the fruits of the spirit. The Lord gonna be like, okay, he praying for the fruits of the spirit. Let's see do he really want this thing. So he gonna keep trying you. And a lot of people, a lot of people are fold. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of people would fold in situations like this, man. They'll try to get another car. You know what I'm saying? They won't look at it as being it's of the Lord. The Lord is testing me. They'll look at it, oh, they'll look at it on a, a carnal level, man. But us in this truth, we got to look at stuff spiritually, bro, because everything is spiritual. And he using me. He using my car to allow me to... He using my car to uh, build my faith up. 
and be at peace with certain situations happening because we know it we know everything everything not gonna go smooth all the time stuff like this gonna happen especially in this walk so he building me up using my car to allow me to have more patience to be long suffering to be at peace when situations like this happen right so check this out though this happened today not not too long ago about two hours ago i was finna um and you know it you just know bro i was finna i finna go bring the word out on campus right not often before I go to camp, I often bring the word out for like about 30, 45 minutes, you know, unless the, unless the spirit wanted me to go longer. I often bring the word out on campus. So my 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 uh, my posters, my posters that I, I was gonna use, uh, basically to set up. You know how when you be at camp, you have posters and stuff, so people can walk up and look at posters. It was in my trunk, right? So. I walk into my car to get, to get my posters out my out my trunk so I can go bring the word out. So go to the go to the trunk. I pop the hood, right? Oh, I keep why oh, I keep saying hood. I pop the trunk, right? And I grabbed my posters, but my keys was, but my keys was in my hands. And I shut the trunk. I shut the trunk while my keys was in the uh in the trunk. So I couldn't get into the trunk. So I tried to go open my door. I couldn't open my door. So I just started smiling and laughing. Like, I'm like, I'm already knowing what it is. Like, it's, it's, it's happened to me already. When I was finna go do the works, uh, my car wouldn't come on. And I couldn't get my posters out the trunk to go do the works. This happened to me before. So I, 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 I'm already knowing what it is. I'm like, dang. I started, I started laughing. I'm like, I called. Who I called for? I called my... I was on the phone with uh, a brother, and I called my real first. I mean, my real back to him, talking to her. You know, she kept me in this. She kept me also in the spirit. You know, all praise to her. She kept me in the uh, in the spirit too. But like, dang, I know it's just Satan, man. Satan stopping me from doing the works. Like, we're not ignorant of Satan devices, man. He always come at you when you trying to do the works, but also it was a test from the Lord. The Lord was gonna see was I gonna freak out. The Lord was gonna see why I was gonna lose patience. Why I was gonna get mad. Was I gonna kick my car? Was I was I gonna go back in the, in the room and be like, forget it? I go to camp another time. The Lord was trying me. The Lord was gonna see. Do I really want this? Do I really want this thing, right? But this was crazy, right? I called um I, my real was my real was giving me people to call to come help me pop my trunk. And the first dude I called, well, he went the first. I don't know if he was the first dude, but I called him. He talking about some, you know, he gonna it's gonna be eighty dollars. So I'm like, dang, eighty dollars? That's a lot of that's a lot of money, bro. So, as ASU police, I called the, the, uh, the apartment. My real say you might well call ASU Park. Cause I seen a a a a a ASU police. If anybody know ASU police, Albany State Police, right? I called the um the apartment. They talking about they can't do it, but the person. That was on, I was on the phone with that from the department. She told me it's a person that do it for a reasonable price. So I'm like, dang, that's the spirit, bro. Because the dude won't charge me 80. And when I called the other dude, he was talking about 40. So I'm like, dang, that's the spirit, bro. Because you never know, man. If I wasn't patient, if I would have been spazzing out, if I would have been losing my mind, or talking about why, Lord, woe is me, woe is me. If I would have been doing that, hey, the Lord probably would have never allowed me to get it done cheaper. He probably would have made me do 80. Or more. You never know. You know what I'm saying? And, and I had to call like five or six people. I had to call like five people before I even got to do that. That was going to come. Because you had some people that was closed. Some people that went. They're talking about they ain't in the area. You know what I'm saying? They're talking about they can't do it. So it was just a patience test. The Lord was going to see was I going to lose patience. Because, hey, I called five people. They didn't, four, four or five, I think. And they ain't... They, it took the fifth person to come. So the Lord was going to see, okay, I'm going to try him. The first person ain't going to be able to do it. The second person ain't going to be closed. The third person ain't going to be able to do it. They ain't going to answer the phone. The Lord just trying me to see, am I going to lose my mind? Or am I going to be at peace during this situation? Am I just going to be chilling, laughing? You know what I'm saying? Praying. So the Lord allowed me to get that thing. And buddy got it done quick. So I'm on the way to camp right now, man. I'm on the camp. I'm on the, I'm, I am might. I wasn't able to bring it out on campus. But you never know. What the Lord was protecting me from Or maybe he didn't want me to bring it out that day Everything is spiritual bro But all praise to the most high I'm on the way to camp right now 
My car is up. The brother got it done quick, man. Through the power of Yahweh by Shima It didn't take a minute. I mean, it, it, it didn't take a while. I'm on the way to camp right now through the spirit, bro. So the most high is going to try you. Everything is a test. If you say you want the fruits of the spirit, hey, the Lord is going to try you. You can't spaz out and get in the flesh when stuff like this happen because we know if you read, you know in the scriptures is our for our learning, and we know hey you gonna have to go through stuff. This walk is not easy, bro. Everything is a test. Everything is a test, man. So we gotta just continue, just continue to, to endure and count it joy. Every situation you should be thinking it's a test. It's spiritual. Everything is spiritual. It's just Satan. You know what I'm saying? It's, not, it's the most high testing me. He might not. He might not be wanting me to go because of this. He might be. He might be protecting me from this. You never know, bro. So us being in this truth, we got. We got. We got to be patient, bro. Everything is about patience and growth. The most high slowly building me up and building you up too. If you watching this video, he slowly build. If he dealing with you, he building you up. He building you up. He building you up so you can have the fruits of the spirit. But we got to continue to endure. Got to continue to endure. You know, and everybody going through different patience tests. Everybody going through, you know, they say they want the fruits of the spirit. Hey, man, everybody going through these trials and tribulations to get the fruits of the spirit. You most high just ain't finna give you this. He finna see do you really want this thing, bro? It's the fruits of the spirit. Hey, the fruits of the spirit is gonna get you the kingdom. So the Lord, like, he ain't gonna give it to you easy. He gonna, he gonna make you he gonna make you work for the fruits of the spirit, but eventually you keep enduring and keep fighting, you're gonna have the fruits of the spirit, man. You know, so this is my, my short live through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bahashim Shai. I wanna give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. I say shalom and kumbashirala.